Hello and welcome to a Train Sim TV tutorial. Um, today we're going to go through a few different types of files for Train Simulator 2018 and how you can install these. I've got a root, I've got a, I've got three different reskins, um, all in different methods. One of them, which runs through a batch file, one you've got to manually use the geo uh, files and copy them across in the correct order, and then we've also got another installation method um, with, with an installer. So first of all, um, we've got a, a route, uh, and this, this method is on an installer also. Uh, this is the East Coast Mainline South Morgate extension. Now you can get routes in different formats, you can either get them where they come in an RWP file um, in installer, so here, or you can also get them where you can open and just drag them across. So on this one, it's um, as I say, it's an installer. So to install this, you will need to right click, run as an administrator because it's got the little shield icon and it'll run you through um, your protected PC and all that depends on what you've got set up so I'll click more info click run anyway now it will uh, run the installation process so give it a read as you're going through just to make sure you've got um, whatever it tells you uh, on this one for example it'll tell you what requirements are needed so East Coast Mainline like South, Peterborough, London, I know I've got that. Uh, London to Brighton also got that. Academy, yep. And now this one takes you to UK Train Sim Clutter Freeware Pack and it gives you a little link for this one. So I know I've got it already, but if you haven't, you then click the link, download it, and then you'd install that. And last of all, yeah, Trent Valley, I've got that. So you click next, click agree, and next. And then make sure, um, sometimes it might not take it to the right installation, it might sometimes put it to the default C drive for some reasons. This one's picking up my installation on G, uh, G drive, which is correct. So if it wasn't, then you would go here and then you just locate wherever your installation is. So we've done that. <coughs> Click next and start. Now it's telling you one or more file is protected. Do you want to overwrite them anyway? Click yes. And then install. Shouldn't take too long this one we've been there. Not such a big route. So once it's done whatever it has to do, there you go. That has been successfully installed. Next we will do the um, installation for a wagon which runs on a bat file. So for this go to your Steam, Common, Railworks, and then leave it on this f uh, page for the folder. Now, double click the um, desired file. Now, these um, this one's come from DP Simulation. Uh, the majority of the reskins on DP Simulation come with bat files, especially if they're from uh, Richard Fletcher. The next one after this will be a different method, which is also from DPS, which um, I'll show you next. But for this one, um, so we've opened it, you need to open again. Now, you want to drag this assets file into your directory and then let it do what it's got to do. Now, it might look like it's installed, but it hasn't totally uh, done everything it needs to do yet. So, if you open your readme up to double check what you need to do, it'll tell you that how to install, so you unzip the file tempor uh, to a temporary location, i.e. desktop, which I have done. Install the RWP file in TS Manager. Now, I don't do that way, um, because the TS Package Manager takes forever to open up and load up, which is why I would always drag them in manually. Um, so once you've done that, unless you do use your Program Manager, <coughs> then you will next need to go to Assets, and you need to go to DTG for this one. Now it'll tell you if I have to go to the folder. Sometimes you only have to go to the bottom of this one and then the, the, the batch files at the bottom. But usually, um, depending on who your provider is for the uh, asset, you'll go to that one. So for this one, for this instance, it is DTG. So double click. And now scroll to the bottom and you'll see install me BYA. So this is the BYA wagon. So you double click. And then once again, click more info. Click run anyway. And there you are then the files have just disappeared which means they have installed um, and you would clear your cache within the game and then you're good to go 
next um, we have go back to the uh, assets we've now got a DRS 33 mini modal reskin so same again um, you open it up and then open this now this is an RWP file if you have your package manager um, you just drag this out here and then you just find that with your package manager which is um, in your utilities wherever it is it's down at the bottom somewhere you would open utilities and then let it do its thing and then install that way but um, for this instance I just drag across it's a lot easier a lot more time consuming as well just remove that right so just make sure it's right so double click and then once again you'll drag your assets into your main directory of railworks let it do what it's got to do it's just moving all the files across and then it will do its copying process now with this one it doesn't have a batch file I don't think, I'll just double check oh it does <laughs> right anyway well this is another batch file so if you didn't get it last time uh, we need to go to DTG once again and then at the bottom we've got a mini modal so click run and it'll copy all the files across that one's that just whilst I'm uh, doing this tutorial we'll go to DP simulation um, trying to find the correct um, style for installing I think uh, let's have a look try one of these ones I think this one is not the old method of installing so that's installed. Right, so it is. So we'll double click, drag it across, like so once again. Unless it's an RWP file installation, then you do your package manager. Open your readme up. And if I just put this across, like so. You can see that installation notes shows um, that you need to go to assets down to Kuju. Then to rail simulator. Across to rail vehicles. And then to diesel, class 47. And then you need to look for ICS folder which is one of the defaults which come for the game where you get, will get your geo file from so click ICS then go to engine and now you need to look for class 47 underscore ICS dot geo PCDX which is this file here so you just give a copy and now I need to look for uh, in this folder so it's obviously assets Kuju rail simulator rail vehicles diesel 47 and now I need to look for the ACM underscore 47 818 underscore 1 so there it is it's right to the top the only one I've got is A so we'll double click and then I need to go to engine and as you can see there is no geo file at the minute so you just click right click and paste and that is how you install one of them types of reskins many many reskins usually use that method before the uh, wonderful world of batch files and installs came along really right so just get rid of that one, I know I've done that, the mini modal. So the last reskin I've got to show you how you could install it is one from Vulcan Productions. Now all of Vulcan Productions um, come via an installer file. So the the w way you would do this is you'll open it. Now you need to drag the installer out. So if you click the readme first it will tell you this. Um, always, always click the readme the easiest way to do things uh, so to run this to run the installer file inside of the zip and everything should be done for you it is recommended to run the installer in admin mode to avoid potential issues when installing so to do this you need to I don't think you can do it in there nope so you will have to extract it so just drag it out to wherever you desire so I'll just do the desktop decides to finish off uh, copying there we go 
So, to do this, uh, all you got to do now is right click, run as administrator because of the little shield icon as well. And then, once again, more info, click run anyway, and it'll pop an installer up. So, welcome to the class 37114 EWS reskin setup. This will install the class 37114 EWS reskin 1.0 on your computer, so click next or cancel to exit. So, we'll click next. The usual terms and conditions here. If you're not too familiar with Vulcan Productions uh, T's and C's, just give them a quick read. And then click accept. And then once again, double check that it's going to the right destination of your installation. Uh, so for me, it's G, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Railworks. Click install, and it will extract and install everything it has to do. Now the next thing you need to double check that this is ticked because if you don't do this it ain't going to copy all the uh, the files it needs to to finish the setup so click the tick if it's not already done and then click finish and it'll uh, bring a little box up which is just a quick one there and popped it up and then install what you have to do so hope you found this uh, video useful please give me um, a subscribe at the bottom and click the little bell to get notifications of any new videos and uh, I will catch you on the next one thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.